Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm going to be playing Union League. Now, this game is, I guess, fairly new. Not a lot of people are on this game or server. Not really sure if we can change servers. No, we can't. So yeah, not a lot of people are on this game because I can make ranking, like, pretty easily. So, yeah, if you guys want to join on to the game, go for it. But I did already start the game out just because, you know, tutorial takes forever and, you know, I barely get to show you guys actual gameplay. So I just went through it and just said, I'm just going to start trying these games out for a while. Then just doing the videos instead, just because it takes forever to get past story and all that. So, yeah, I thought about doing that instead. But probably not for all games, but... Alright, but without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys the gameplay of this game. I guess we can try here. I'm not sure if we can pass it, but this game is actually pretty difficult when starting off. Alright. So as you can see, I have three characters that I can come in with. Sadly, that's the max. You have dodging, you have three other skills as well. Those are all my skills, and plus, the best part is I can change between my characters. I don't have to stick with just one. And this isn't like a straight up auto game. You have to get all three stars just to get the reward, which is 30 gems or crystals, whatever, whichever one it was, and to be able to auto. And even auto is not like a 100% chance that you're going to pass it. Unless you have like some extremely strong characters, which I'm really enjoying this mermaid I'm using. She's extremely powerful and has some really good skills. And plus there's also some good like PvP like aspects into this game as well. Which is actually pretty interesting. Now the bosses in this is the thing you're gonna have to look after. Because they are actually really strong and quite the hassle and not only that you east sage has his own like unique pretty much challenges that you have to like bring in like a certain character which one of them's like druid which i don't even have or even can get right now and there's some more of them that you would have to have as well but this game also has fragments or shards, whichever one you want to call it for getting characters. But all of them are just 20. To be honest, I thought there would be some special characters, but it doesn't seem like any of the characters are actually like, like all that special to where they would cost a lot of fragments, as I thought it would. Which is actually pretty, pretty nice. Knowing that you don't have to work extremely hard just to get one character. Yeah, now we're starting to feel the damage here. The whole team is kind of suffering. Ah, oh, there she is. There's the boss. Now, the really annoying boss is the ones that heal. Because I already went up against one that just kills the crap out of everybody. And plus, there are some characters that are really hard to dodge their attacks. Come on, die. Alright, we took her out, but Leo died. But, I don't really have a... Well, actually, I do have a quest for it. I can do that later. As you guys can see, there are, like, challenges you can fail on. And plus, there are also guilds, but no friend lists, which kind of puzzled me. There are achievements for like the Google Play. So that's the thing. Now that I showed you guys like adventure gameplay. Um, also, yeah, guilds cost a, like a hundred thousand. I just want it to be known that gold is actually pretty scarce in this game. So you gotta kind of save up for that. I plan on making a guild because I'm actually enjoying this game quite a bit. And plus, here's all your items and everything. You can put on new equipment on the characters. The actual equipment, like, won't pop up on your characters. It's nothing like that. They don't have any, like, visuals on it. There's also, like, 
shop as well where you can use your gold. There's also um, these where you can buy uh, characters. If anything, I say save up for the crystal box just because it gives you one free character. And for these, yeah, not very much. If you want to go for the stone box, I go for it. But these two aren't really all that worth it. I say avoid those. They don't give you 10 of the same character. They give you 10 of any random character. That's the worst part. So, yeah, this is from like two summons of the uh, crystal box. I'm not going to do the stone box or, or any of that. I'm just going to save up for the crystal box again. So, sadly, you guys won't like get a summon in this video. There are a lot of quests that you have to unlock as well. As you level up, you unlock new dailies. And there's also like a lot of achievements. Now, these crystal keys are just pretty much automatic crystal box opening and plus uh, I was gonna tell you guys this yeah the f whole crystal and fragments things you also need that to evolve your character yep really annoying isn't it and plus you're gonna need a lot of these which is from well yeah to waking your character a little bit more give it like extra stats and everything you can choose whichever ones you want to like yes, pick first so that's the we? best part you don't have to just go down the line where you get those are from here so yeah you gotta destroy some crystals just to get it i'm not gonna do that because that takes literally like three minutes like we gotta see how much time this takes uh arena Arena is just like two different stages. Like, there's a normal arena, and then there's a. Okay, they have they have a lot of interesting characters. To be honest, I like her. There's an arena in like elite arena, which is like for higher level account character. Well, yeah, higher level accounts. Gaming at the same time is definitely just. Not my thing. Yeah, I can't talk in game, guys. Been doing YouTube for how long now? <laughs> Alright, yeah. Then it goes on cooldown. Yeah, you gotta basically wait five minutes every, like, try. But, you know, it's alright just because as you're going through all of them, they're pretty much resetting at that time. So if you were just to do arena, then just have that charge, then you'll go here, and then now will charge for like two minutes, then you will be here. Then, you know, it really isn't that long. But I can say there's one mode that I enjoy the most out of this game, and it's called survival. Survival is pretty much where you go in and versus other players and see who can beat each other and who can take out the boss. This is the mode I enjoy the most. All right, I started up here. Yeah. I can take out these guys pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I love Ariel. She's so good. Oh, this guy is... That's purple's coming to me. Alright. Yeah, nice try, buddy. I might as well stop him because he is taking out like a lot of goad. Let's see if I can outplay him like I've been doing others. Yeah, you're gonna have to stay back. Yeah. Actually, you can't even do enough damage to me. Yeah. Uh-uh. 
What you doing, buddy? Yeah, I can't get stuck in the corner. He's gonna use that freaking skill of his, and I don't want that. Because I know that character really well. He's gonna try and poison me. I wanna really avoid that. Alright, since this guy is over here fighting, I'm gonna say hello. He already killed the other guy. Okay, game. Hello. Yeah, I can do it too. Yeah, but you're also getting attacked by the boss, so... Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you, boss, for, uh, you know... Kind of distracting her right there. Alright, and I beat the boss. <laughs> That's why I love survival. It's, like, really fun. I enjoy it. Hold on. Let's do one more match. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's like offline or online. I'm pretty sure it's probably offline because the way we get like people really quickly in this. Especially with the server being so small. I think we're fighting bots. I don't really know. Alright, what is this guy doing? Let's go over here with the green guys. Just because I feel like bots would play a lot smarter, like they would run away. Oh, this guy's coming after me. Yep, there she is. He's not running. He's definitely gonna fight me. Okay, why am I stuck here? Hello? Game? I have a feeling people would have ran away by now just to, like, recover. But, you know, that's her thing. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm just gonna sit over here with the sideline guys. Kill that guy. Oh, nope. Stay back. I know that character. I'm good. Oh, this is the same guy. Yeah. Thanks for rolling into that. Yeah, I want to avoid that skill. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, there we go. We killed everybody. Easy. Alright, now we gotta take out the boss. Yeah. Why? Why are you still alive? Did they just leave enemies here? Or maybe I killed them to the point where they couldn't take him out. Alright, that's really good for like single targets. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. Stop. Stop following me. I, I would rather if you did not do that. Alright, there we go. I gotta say... We got some better gold than we did last time. I mean, we got some better points instead of, like, gold. I think first place just gets that amount of gold. But the thing is, I could actually just sit here and two, I got my gold up. Just doing survival over and over. 
Yeah, I have other missions as well. So you can enhance your um, skills and your equipment. But the thing is, the further you go into the stage, the better weapons you're, you're going to get. So you might as well upgrade the weapons you get at that stage because it's going to get harder and harder as it goes. Um, hmm. I don't really know if there's much else to show you guys. I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't know about uh, Defending Champion. I don't know what that is. But you guys can try that out for yourself. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. If you guys enjoyed, try out the game yourself. Till then, peace out.